Welcome to room number 22 of the Holiday Inn Junction 59 of the A1. A look outside of the hotel before we go inside uh, but I think I know this is going to be sort of backwards way on because uh, we spent a night here already and on the way out uh, we were just talking to one of the cleaners a lovely lady who uh, showed us a couple of the other rooms uh, on the ground floor where we were and whilst our room was absolutely lovely and you'll see that in a minute it was fantastic room it was an absolute 10 out of 10 in reality I gave it a 9.5 spoiler there but uh, it really was a 10 out of 10 room it was fantastic but what she explained to us was that in the first floor and the upper floor rooms they actually don't haven't been refurbished and they still consist of a tiny little bathroom but with a sink is actually outside in the main room not outside in the corridor but outside in the main room and the bathroom consists literally of just um, a, a, a toilet uh, and a tiny shower so it's a really small shower room so it does depend on what room you get and if you are coming to this hotel which is the Darlington North Holiday Inn on Junction 59 of the A1M then uh, you really do need to uh, think about trying to get a ground floor room which have been refurbished uh, and this but according to the lady who said there's no sort of plans at the moment to uh, refurbish the upper floors so just a quick tip I mean it's now um, uh, November 2017 so if you are coming certainly within a, a good few months maybe even a year or so of this video uh, then do look try to get a ground floor because uh, they are by far the better and the refurbished rooms okay so uh, that's it we'll uh, head off inside a quick look round the lobby with its uh, table football <coughs> and computer area and then inside a lounge area where you can sit and relax and finally inside the room and as you can see immediately uh, it's an, ex an executive room really really large room uh, but we'll move first of all into the bathroom now um, yeah really nice bathroom very very you know well pretty bright uh, nice sort of lights around the mirror uh, usual well I would say usual um, sink but looks quite a nice fancy one a nice toilet and of course a bath with an over shower lovely nice and clean looks really recently refurbished very very nice bathroom indeed so back into the main room and just starting on the right we've got a place for the case along with a couple of mirrors one over the desk uh, it's first night here we're only staying one night so it is a case of just checking out what it looks like on first impressions I'll always have little comments if I see things uh, as we've stayed the night but there is a mirror over the desk a nice large looking desk with a desk light a good sized television which I assume will be free view uh, any difference again I'll let you know and then moving over to the uh, well I suppose it's a, a cupboard uh, not a desk but a cupboard area and on the cupboard area not those two drinks those two we brought with us uh, but there is a Kit Kat and some still water and fizzy water so again that's complimentary so that's really nice and then also in this sort of sitting area there is a settee I don't know if that doubles up into an extra bed but that is uh, a settee and then moving we've got uh, towards the bedroom and the uh, bed which looks like a, I say a king but it's bigger than a king I don't think they call it is it a super king 
Uh, it certainly looks a good six foot wide. Um, yeah, probably six foot wide. So a good sort of king or, or super king. And again, the decoration is really nice. I can't see any obvious blemishes, uh, certainly with just the one look round. Uh, I'll have a quick look outside, even though it is dark. And the view we've got is over the car park. Uh, you can see uh, McDonald's there. Uh, and we are sort of on the ground floor uh, to the side of reception. So um, we'll see what it looks like in the morning. In fact, we'll have a look what it looks like in the morning right now. Back to the evening and looking around the room just sort of finally so uh, price well I'm not too sure with the price this was 20,000 points on a rewards night uh, with IHG uh, I am a sort of Spire member which I guess is why they've put us into uh, an exec room but very happy with the room um, it looks really well laid out plenty of space uh, yeah very very nice uh, the hotel in general, um, it's obviously been here a few years, but it does certainly look modern and refurbished. And in fact, the lobby uh, has been refurbished as well uh, recently uh, to this new style of flexible, they call it, whereby people can get food and drink any time of day, not just at meal times. Uh, they also can sit down, they use the Wi-Fi uh, and just sort of enjoy uh, the, the open area of the lobby. So that's really nice. Okay, faults with the hotel. Well, at this stage, I'm trying to think of a fault. I don't normally give 10, 10 out of 10. Uh, so let's be absolutely ultra picky. Um, the view. View is over a car park. We'll knock half a point off. <laughs> that is being very very picky uh, there is a very large looking air conditioning unit there or heater there uh, looks a little bit unsightly in a lovely room but I mean we are looking very very picky uh, the rate as I said it was 20,000 it did include breakfast as well which is unusual for a holiday in so that's even nicer and whilst I've knocked a point off for those two I'm going to add half a point on back for the breakfast because quite simply that's really good um, so at the moment and if I change my mind I'll put a comment below uh, but at the moment I'm going to give this a good very very strong nine and a half uh, because I cannot see anything uh, that's wrong with this room uh, or the hotel lets you down Okay, so um, thanks very much for watching. There's going to be more videos uh, coming on the channel soon, including uh, a couple of stays at Castles. So that will be uh, interesting to see. But for now, thanks very much for watching.